The OPSAT is the most important tool you have. It holds all the intel you need for your missions, stores your personal notes, and holds any data you collect. It also reminds you of your objectives. And holds your minimap. The minimap tells you where you are and where your objectives are. It also gives you a detailed map of your surroundings. Believe me, being able to look at potential escape routes can be a lifesaver. That sounds like a camera. You have a special tool for this. The lab boys call it an optically channeled potentiator. I call it the OCP. It's right there, mounted on your pistol. Just aim and shoot. The green light means it worked. But to be sure, all you have to do is switch to blue vision. If you see nothing, that means it worked. But it's not disabled for long, so you'd better hurry. One of the perks of your job is all of the gadgets you get to play with, starting with your rifle. It's a fully automatic weapon with superb zoom capabilities. It's extremely motion sensitive when you're zoomed in, so when you need to line up a shot, you have to hold your breath. Much better. Now for the best part, the launcher. Mounted right under the barrel, it can shoot an arsenal of miniaturized devices. First up is the extremely useful sticky camera. Just load it up, aim, and fire. Only one guard to take care of. Good. Then there's the sticky shocker. It's the same drill. Select, aim, and fire. Those are two of the many gadgets you'll be working with. You'll pick up more along the way. And their specs will be available on your PDA. Pay attention. You'll get a lot of use out of your goggles. For instance, night vision is an absolute essential. You can't do your job without it. Another useful vision option is thermal vision. There's nothing like it to see through smoke and fog. Plus, it makes guards much easier to spot. A third option is electrostatic monitoring, also called blue vision. It displays anything that emits a magnetic field. And since most things displayed in blue vision can be disrupted with the OCP, they make a great combination. Another vision mode deals with sticky cams. You can cycle through any of the cameras you fire, unless they've been destroyed, and see what they see. And there's one more mode you can use. It's called the EEV, and it allows you to scan objects for information. You can also use it to distance hack electronic devices. Think of it as hacker binoculars. Picking locks isn't that hard when you know what you're doing. Find the right direction and keep at it. Eventually, the pin goes down. But if you're in a hurry, a knife makes a decent alternative. It's fast, but it's noisy, and that's risky. Tackling these guys head-on is usually a bad idea. Better to just distract them and slip on by. Fortunately, the environment often provides you with what you need. A bottle, a can, a chunk of ice. You can pick up, equip, and throw any of these to generate a distraction.
TVs and radios work too. Just play with the volume or the on-off switch. Jim, what was that? Worst comes to worst, you can pretend it's a Bogart movie in Whistle. True, it's a bit riskier because it attracts the guards to your exact location. You need to get out of Dodge before they show up or you'll be in trouble. One thing you'll learn is that there is always somewhere to hide. If you can't find one on the ground, then start looking up. Keep a lookout for places where you can do a split jump too. Your eyes will learn to gravitate to good spots for this automatically. If you find yourself staring at a wall, that's why you're doing it. Like that one. It'll do fine. From there, you still have access to your equipment. But when the target is close, you can drop in for a visit. Works every time. Always watch for beams or pipes along the ceiling. They can offer a place to hide or a whole new angle of attack. Usually you work alone, but from time to time you're going to have help. Stay close. Roger that. Cooperation is the key, because sometimes there are things you can't do alone. Here, for instance, you'll need a boost to get over to the other side. There you go. If by any chance your partner goes down and you get to him in time, you have the equipment to revive him. Nice teamwork, men. Sometimes there's no way around it. You just need to get up close and personal. For example, you might need to squeeze some information out of someone. Just grab him from behind and convince him to talk. Then again, you might just need to take the guy out. I don't like you racking up a body count, so I'll reduce your mission rating if you start generating corpses. It's generally better to just knock them out. Now, see what he has to say. I think he'll cooperate. If you want to move unseen, light is the enemy. That means you need to move carefully, stay in the shadows, and stick close to walls. Staying low helps too. You might move more slowly, but you're harder to spot and you make less noise. And noise counts, because these guys aren't deaf. A little noise can give you away in a heartbeat. That's why you move slowly and keep an eye on what you're walking on. Fortunately, sometimes there's too much ambient noise for you to be heard. And that happens. Take advantage of it. What you do can also be an issue. Opening a door slowly doesn't make a lot of noise. Bashing it in is a whole other story. Just like that. The UV rays from this help you see any fingerprints that might be there. Just equip it and look around. Any print that's there will glow if the UV beam hits it.
Then you just get close and scan it in. Unfortunately, only complete prints are useful. A partial print means you have to try again until you find a complete one. The scanned prints are automatically uploaded to us. Anything we find out gets dumped right back down to your PDA. That's all there is to it. Happy hunting. The best weapon you have is intel. The better your info, the better your chances. And nothing improves the odds like knowing where the guards are. Fortunately, your PDA has been outfitted with a short-range tracker capable of detecting RFID signatures. It's not the most accurate thing in the world, but you can generally tell how many guards are out there and when to expect them. And when you think about it, that's all you really need. That's the sound of a wall mine. Not a good sound. The trick is to move slowly and step lightly. Do that and it won't detonate. Getting close to the wall mine is the hard part. Disarming them is simple. Just make sure the light is green or else you're in for a nasty surprise. Just like that. Now that it's harmless, you can take it with you and use it yourself if you find a good spot. Third Echelon was founded on the principle of covert information gathering through physical infiltration. So don't go blasting your way through everything. Keep a low profile. Avoid detection whenever possible. Hide in shadows or learn the guard's patrol patterns and sneak by when they're not looking. Stay out of their sight, using pipes, ledges, and high places. If nobody spots you and there are no corpses left to find, no one will ever know you were there. That's the only way to earn a perfect mission rating, Sam. The OCP is good not only for cameras, but you can also use it on other electronic devices, such as lasers, lights, TV monitors, and the like. The principle is the same. Just aim your pistol and shoot. That's it. Nothing else to it. Here we go, Sam. Undercover in enemy territory. If you don't play your cards right, this is going to be a really short ride. The first rule is no kills. You might get away with knocking a few of these guys out. If you kill one, they'll turn the place upside down. It would make things complicated. Second, you can't be identified. If Sam Fisher gets caught snooping in a restricted area, they just might be a little suspicious. Your mask will keep you from being ID'd right off the bat, but if you're nabbed, They'll want to take it off and see who their visitor is. On the bright side, Emile Dufresne's the sort who wants answers, and his followers are well trained. If you're caught, he'll want you to talk. That means his people will arrest you, not shoot you. Better yet, I've given you all those toys you love, like the launcher. It lets you either shoot gadgets or use the OCP. Two for the price of one. The bad guys have no idea what you've got up your sleeve. Now, back to work. You're on the clock here. 